Hey guys, gameplay on Koth Kong King, the new Koth map for TF2. Uh, gonna be playing Soldier the entire time. Um, so here we go. Gonna be rocket jumping over here. This is the second time I'm playing this map, so I know it fairly well. That's a that's a spy. Uh, there's guys behind me. This is a bad situation. I'm dead. That's okay, cause I'm switching to Liberty Launcher. Um, well. A good thing to be when you're on a new map is to be a soldier or a scout because you're so mobile and you can move around so well. You're going to be learning the map so much faster than if you were any other class. Uh, that's not what I did when I was starting TF2. I was actually a medic. Uh, I was actually following people who actually knew the map and I could stay safe. Uh, that's also a good route to go too. But uh, since this is a new map for everyone, I, I guess that wouldn't work out as well. Uh, what I'm really going to be talking about during this gameplay is just Koth maps in general, uh, the ups and downs, uh, pretty much the ups of Koth, uh, Kong King. Uh, I really like this map, or I've been enjoying it a lot so far. It definitely has a nice balance to it, uh, where it has a lot of ups of, of other Koth maps, uh, where some of them they have flaws. Like, uh, this part right here where it's pretty open where the point is uh, some place like Lakeside uh, kind of has this sort of thing uh, but towards the other parts it has um, more narrow areas more tight areas that aren't so open uh, it's kind of like some place like Nucleus which is kind of pretty similar uh, but the problem is that Nucleus is almost entirely just a narrow area where there's not much room to uh, run around and same thing with lakeside uh, but on the opposite side that it's just a one giant wide area uh, the good thing about Koth Kong King so far is that it has a nice balance of both but at this point in the middle is very wide but towards the spawns it actually gets more narrow uh, and uh, underneath the uh, point is also more uh, narrow another thing I like about this map is that it's pretty big uh, small maps, it, it kind of induces uh, spawn camping. Some place like Nucleus, which is pretty small, and Harvest, which is an extremely small cloth map. Some place like this, or like Lakeside, it's, it's nice and big. Like, a team on Lakeside would have to really be spawn camping. Like, they would have to be really far out. So that it's kind of obvious that they're spawn camping. Yeah. This this place too, it's uh, really open. Uh, spawns are pretty far away from each other. Spawns are pretty far away from the point. Uh, so you, less spawn camping. That's that's a pretty good upside to this. Another thing that I like about this map is that there's obstacles. Just random obstacles here and there. Uh, what that really uh, helps me out with mainly is because of mini sentries mini sentries those are those ruin cloth maps in my opinion uh, they can just aim anywhere and it's really broken on some places like cloth lakeside or badlands where just set one up there and it can aim it at anywhere pretty much this place it, it, it's got obstacles here and there it's narrow and wide in different areas so mini sentries won't be as effective sure they'll still be annoying but you know, not as annoying, and uh, that's always helpful. Uh, really like that about this, since I hate many centuries so much. Um, another great thing about this map, uh, flank routes. Plenty of flank routes, I really enjoy that. Uh, if you're playing Spy or Pyro, you kind of want to get it behind people. Uh, same thing with Scout. You want to get behind people uh, instead of fighting just head-on. Uh, and flank routes allow you to do that. It's not some place like Koth Viaduct, which is pretty much just one straight wall. Uh, and if an enemy team is right there, you kind of have to go completely past that. Uh, so that's good. Uh, flank routes, always important. The only problem I had with this map at first was that I couldn't find any health packs, and that's kind of annoying if you don't have any health packs. That means the team with the medic will obviously win because they actually have pretty much a constant health pack right there. Um, some place like Koth Viaduct doesn't really have that much. 
some place like yeah, bad uh, no badlands does have quite a few health packs if you know where they are some place like lakeside where the health packs are pretty far away um, those are kind of places where medics are absolutely necessary um, and here this is where I finally found where the health packs are uh, there's also the same kind of health pack on the mirror side of this, so I know that now. There's also smaller health packs. I don't think I've seen like a full medikit uh, anywhere, but uh, knowing where that was now, pretty much right now, uh, really fixed my problem with that. Uh, maybe medics won't be as you, the team with the medic won't be as overpowered. Sure, medics will still be important because medics are important in any map, but uh, still pretty good and. You can you can jump up there. That's a uh, that's crazy. And how did how did you know that? That's a great soldier spot. Man. Moving on. Anyways, uh, after playing on this map for so long, not so long, just a few rounds, I can't say anything bad about this map. Uh, I don't see any real problems uh, that could really come up. Uh, yeah, I did see mini sentries once or twice, but like I said before, that not too big of a problem. Uh, the only other problem I would see is maybe too many heavies, but we had heavies on our own team with medics, so I couldn't really tell. Although I guess another problem would be snipers. Uh, I did get body shot a few times with the, by the Machina from spots where snipers were, and I don't know where that spot was. Uh, I don't actually know the sniper lanes in this map, but uh, maybe if I figure out later, I, I guess that might be a problem. Uh, other than that, I just nothing wrong here. Uh, lo very nice map. Uh, probably one of the best cop maps uh, uh, in my all-time favorite maps. Uh, so, can't really say anything bad about this. Uh, I highly recommend this map. Uh, definitely should be in the rotation for the servers. Uh, okay, so my opinions on different Koth maps. Koth Harvest, way too small. Way too small, kind, way too narrow. The point, it's, it's inside a house. You, you kind of need like five people in there in order to stay safe. Uh, Although I do like the map, though o overall, it, it's kind of nice. That that was that was laggy over there. Um, Called Lakeside, the exact opposite. It's way too open. Mini sentries pretty much ruined the map. Not mini. Regular sentries ruin the map. Mini sentries are okay. Uh, not too bad, but it's way too open. Uh, and then Called Nucleus, kind of like Harvest. Uh, it's kind of one of those maps where I don't pay attention to the point because if I go there, I know I pr I'm pretty much dead if I actually go to the point. Uh, it's also pretty narrow. Uh, a lot of just lanes. Just lanes everywhere. Uh, sawmill? I like Sawmill. Uh, there's not too many problems with that one. Um, yeah, not too many problems with that one. Got the Viaduct. I don't like it because there's like, no flank routes. You get to the there's like two little lanes, and then you get to the point, and there's just one giant point, and then you go back to two lanes. It's actually three lanes, but it's it's just like a giant wall. If your enemy is right there, just you have to go through that. There's no flank routes, pretty much. Koth Badlands. I pretty much learned on Koth Badlands that mini sentries, the team with the mini sentry and the heavy and medic, pretty much win it. I mean, have just pretty much a mini sentry and a heavy can win that map. I've I've used mini sentry on that map. There's too many good places for it, and it just aims everywhere. Scouts, pyros, soldiers—they're all shut down because of just one mini sentry. It's it's pretty much insane. As long as your team caps first, you start off kind of okay and you can actually put out a dispenser and a mini sentry right there your team is pretty much bound to win and won't even be contested that is the problem with cod badlands uh, I don't really see 
Mini Sentry is being too much of a problem on here. Uh, I'm hoping that it won't be too much of a problem on here. Uh, so, that's pretty much all I really have to say about the different cloth maps. Uh, the normal ones that I that we play on a lot. Uh, this one, this one should be good. Um, but finally, for the gameplay, this is the last round. It gets to be pretty close. Uh, each of us under a minute left. I'm scared of pyros. I'm gonna go back towards this health kit, which I'm so glad that I found. Uh, and then go back to the point which they're starting to cap. Uh, hopefully they won't be able to do that. This round actually does end pretty close. We're going down to 10 seconds left only. And, uh, we're... Look to pretty much win this. That pyro. Please, please come back. Let me kill you. Thank you. Thank you. Huh. Unfortunately, it was Romana. Uh, oh god. They actually have a teleporter in there. If you could actually see the little blue magic things. I don't know what they are. And we get it down to zero. But they're causing, it, they're causing overtime. And they actually get the point. So that's disappointing. But hopefully we can get it back in 40 seconds. Going to go all the way back. I see pyros. No, actually that's our pyro. And I know they have like teleporters somewhere around here. So somewhere around here. There, I'm gonna find it. Teleporters, really good. That's all that really matters. Dispensers, not so much. Teleporters, a lot more. Uh, there's a mini sentry. Uh, I found it. Unfortunately, they have people teleporting in pretty quickly. Oh, uh, it's overtime. Uh, and we lose. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys later. We just witnessed a Christmas miracle.